I have a number of conversations with coaches and consultants who rest with pricing themselves. Some do it hourly, some do it based on outcome. I don't particularly care which, but I often find that they're underselling their service. They're underselling themselves. Yeah. What's your take on that? That's a very common thing that I'm seeing as well. I think it boils down to two different things. One of two things. One, either the person is in a position where they need money now, right? They've just started their coaching or consulting business. Maybe they've just left their nine to five. Now they got to replace that money. I need money now. Yep. I better have low rates or I better discount my rates so I can start getting some clients and start paying the bills right away. Yeah. So that's one thing. It's a rash. I need money right away. And they're playing the short game instead of the long game for fear of, of not getting some long-term clients. That would be one. And I see that a lot. Um, but what I tell consultants or coaches is, you know, have uh, some runway, either start this on the side first as a side hustle. So you're not in that position or make sure you've either saved up a lot or you got a pretty good severance package if you were just laid off because you want to come in and establish yourself with proper rates from the beginning. But the other thing I would see is probably a lack of confidence. There's some imposter syndrome. They don't even believe or they're not convinced themselves that their services are worth what they're charging. Um, so they undersell themselves. And it's almost one can feed upon the other. So if you come to the stage in a desperate position because you need revenue, that's going to impact your confidence. When you don't need the revenue, when you're just there to serve, and if the opportunity looks good, up goes your confidence. Um, so really great. Exactly. Yeah. 